Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh dear. Maybe we'll try this. Ooh, a little bit of this. A little bit of this. There we go. Cool. Uh, can we go now? There. She looks so tired. Okay, we're... Getting younger. Oh, there's a rail there. Pick that up, break into their car. Or we can go over here. Oh, we're back at the, the place. Oh, and we already got a thingy. Look at us, pros. So good at this game. This soundtrack is really nice. Like, there's something devastatingly beautiful about it. I say that and it just ends. Great. Cool. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been? I mean, really. What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Received note. Acrophobia. Let me see. Acrophobia. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Well, yeah, sure. His vitals look good. We got a thingy. Let's keep going. We go over this log, mayhaps. There we go. Check if there's anything. Nope, we're good. Let's skippity hop up here. Oh, look at them. He's in his mustache phase. Is he? Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's... It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Uh-oh. What'd you pull? What'd you try to do? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. Do you want me to try? Would you? So dramatic. River? Are you insane? Get away from there. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. I think think they may be connected? Probably. Okay. River? Why'd she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Well, what? Who asked? Who asked? Ooh, memento. And we got everything, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Jeez. Wait, no, I can do this. I can do this. Easy peasy. Doing great. An old backpack. Let's get out of here then. Johnny, 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 what did you do? 
Okay, we're really going down in age now. Everyone with it is different, John. Oh, they're talking about her diagnosis. Just because she and I share the same syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. Mm. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to... You, you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean... Don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it my whole life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only thing I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know, the Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Wow. Huh, never met a woman with it before then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move. Wow, that is, that's a lot to unpack, wow. So yeah, I've definitely struggled with, I guess both sides of it. I mean, Isabel, she says she was diagnosed when they're young. I'm assuming they're sisters, right? And um, River, she was diagnosed later on apparently so isabel had that that knowledge she probably had the resources to kind of learn to adapt to being normal you know it is what it is that's just that's kind of what you have to do to survive but with river she had no idea and i don't know it's kind of strange that if they are related maybe they aren't because wouldn't both parents get them tested Maybe they're just friends and it's a coincidence. Are they sisters? I don't know. Maybe I missed that part. But it's just, it's crazy to me how I can relate to both sides of that. Because like I said, I was diagnosed when I was an adult. You know, I never had that diagnosis to lean back on. I never had resources or a community to stand behind to help me while I was growing up. So I can relate to River in that aspect. I was just, just kind of doing my own thing, feeling weird. But then there's also Isabel. And even if you don't have those resources, you kind of, you build up the system to learn how to survive, right? To learn how to fit in because that's, that's kind of all you want, really. And it's, it's difficult. It's difficult, especially when you have no idea what's going on. And you start to like, you start to question if everything you do is just an act because 
you can never be your real self. And that's, that can be a tough pill to swallow. So I can relate to how she would envy River, who just doesn't seem to care at all. And you know, some days, some days I feel that. Sometimes I don't feel like smiling just because, just to make everyone else comfortable. I don't feel like changing the tone in my voice just to make other people comfortable. And I've stopped doing that a lot just because it's kind of weighed on me so much after all this time. And, you know, the older you get, the less you start to care about how much you fit in. And maybe that's just a normal part of growing up, but it's great. It's, it's just something you kind of learn from after a while. It's an experience. You know, everyone's trying to find themselves and it's just a little harder when you have a diagnosis. Anyways, let me just, let me continue. I don't know if any of my ramblings made sense. Maybe someone can relate, I don't know. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Hmm. Anything new today? No. What are you reading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. Who is she side-eyeing him? When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. Oh, she's still side-eyeing him. I'm going to get this one. Oh, she just phased through him. With her long hair. Sassin' him. Hello? Oh, what's going on? Bro just disappeared. Um, can I talk to you? Well, what about David's? He was my favorite- Oh, it was a kid. Well, what about David's? He's my favorite character. Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's Animorph? Um... No. No. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Don't worry, we'll find it out for you. Animorphs. Is that a real series? I think it is. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Where's she gone? She got- you're in the doghouse. Maybe not. Maybe not. Tobias Hawk, Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. That's true. Could have just Googled it. Oh, wait, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. No! God, why do I do that? Why do I do that? David. David, 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 David. Um, David Cobra. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's do it. Uh, Cobra. It doesn't have to be capitalized or anything, does it? Does that matter? 
Oh yeah, Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. They were so cool. All right. Um, oh, that's everything. We're good. So where's the, is this it? What's the thing we can bounce to? But yeah, they were talking a lot about what people call masking. It's when people with autism or maybe other neurodivergent disorders, they have to put on this front to act normal, to make other people seem comfortable. And yeah, it's, it's a very real thing. It's very kind of depressing, kind of, it's just, it's a survival tactic. I've know I've said that already before, but it really is. It's just a way to fit in, a way to accommodate other people, so lest they not be put off by your weirdness. But you know, I definitely struggled with it a lot when I was, let me put this in first. Here it is. But as I was saying, I definitely struggled with masking a lot when I was growing up and it, it got so believable that I'd do it in front of family during like huge gatherings and stuff just so I can seem like everything's fine, everything's great. You know, I'm the oldest of a lot of my cousins and I took that on as a lot of pressure to be the example, be the one that seems like they have it all together, seems like they're the smartest, the, the best, the one that they should be looking up to. So that put a lot of pressure on learning how to mask, learning how to seem like everything's fine and you're just totally normal. And it's hard, it's really, it's really difficult, but it got so believable that when I finally got my diagnosis, I would, I had a family member actually ask me like, well, why can't you just pretend all the time? Why can't you just be normal since you're so good at pretending to be normal? Or are you sure you aren't just faking being autistic? And it's like, no, the thing that I'm faking is this personality that I put on around other people and it it was really difficult to get people to understand that because I would fooled everyone apparently but yeah enough about me it's it's just it's an intense topic I totally messed this up. Now it's just time to push random buttons. Oh wait, actually. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I messed it up. I I really thought I did something. Um alright, alright, alright. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotcha. Only took 16 tries. No Animorphs. Activate. Where are we now? Young adult. Aw, oh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to a lot at parties. Dang. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. He is very secure. Alright, what, what are we clicking on? What's going on here? Okay. Let's just uh, scooch on out of here then. Is there anything over here? Nope. We must go up. Pickles! Pickled olives. Gimme. Glass of pickled olives. 
I see La Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean the cheesiest remark? But a ch. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go. Enough. Enough talk. Oh, I guess we're going here. Here, please. Oh, look at them. So sweet. Um, can I... Hello? Can I click on them? Or... Oh, okay. Her, her dress is the same color as the... The origami rabbits. Or the... Just the one rabbit that she made. The blue and yellow one? Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. Oh, this is their wedding. No. Why do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. Hmm. What is it like? It's just... different? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? Look at their little eyes. These are such cute pixel characters. I understand. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Hmm? Very unconventional wedding dress. I respect it. I think if I was to get married, big if, I wouldn't want to wear a dress. I mean, I feel like I'd have to, because I like tradition and traditional stuff, but uh, I hate dresses. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Look at them. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Johnny the Romantic. This is sweet. Ow, my ass. <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Yay. <laughs> okay. That's a core memory now. They danced the whole night. To promise- Oh, it was like the reception. Now it's happening. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. <laughs> ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think it was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Ooh. 
That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to take it moment by moment? Yeah. Why is she killing the mood? It's a wedding. Can we, let me, excuse me, just slip by here real quick. Just looking for two more mementos. An uh, orange and a red one, please. Thank you. Who's this old man? Let's eavesdrop real quick. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it. Ma calls me, calls me by it as a nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Okay. Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. No, Joey. Um, Joey. Johnny's nickname, named after his grandfather. Sweet. That's Nick. Where's uh, Isabel? Hello? I'm so proud of Joey. Hmm. Okay. Pickled olives. Memento? No? Alright then. Can just uh, slip on by over here. There we go. Oh, I see someone. What is that, like a roast chicken in the road? Can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Oh, Come on, we're late. That's a bad omen. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later? Don't ask me, you're the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Ah oh, yes, the, the true meaning of a man. The cordless bungee jump. Dead rabbit. Let's look at that. Dead rabbit? Uh, roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Why do we have- Oh, I thought, like, we keep the item and it's just notes. I was like, did we just, like, pocket that? What's happening? Oh, can we go? I always forget to click it again. Okay, I can do this in three swipes and I know just the swipes. Look at this. Dead bunny. Let's go. You know it's a fantastic wedding. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the, ro the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. I mean, it's a, it's a theory. Oh no. All right, still in young adulthood. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't look at me like that. Smells like a farm. 
and roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Scent simulator. So weird. Well, I guess there's nothing over here. All right, just strolling. <gasps> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> a lot just happened right there. <laughs> a blue horse and a bus just hit me. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh, crap. That can't be good. Oh, no. Do so. Don't just stand there. Help me. Okay. I'll, I'll help you, buddy. Darn it. This was not in the job description. Receive note, Dr. Neil Watts. All right. What, what do we got on Neil? What are the rumors? <laughs> Village idiot. Okay. All right. Um, Neil? Sir? Ooh, what's this? It's just a, a hut. Cool. <gasps> there it is. A horse. Um, hello? Look at them. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! River! Oh, he's so protective of her. She's fine. Look at her go. What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Huh. Wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Eva! <laughs> this is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Are we gonna get on the horse? Come on. Better go save his bum. Oh, oh gosh. Not these controls. Oh no, what am I doing here? I see ya, I see ya. Oh wait, no, that, that's... Where am I? Oh gosh. I saw River and Johnny. I wanted to snatch him up. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna take a moment. I don't even know where he is right now. That's a blue Oh Jesus, there he is. There he is, there he is. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh no, I got trapped. Um oh gosh. Watts. Ah, I keep getting stuck on things. This is gonna take a while. Can I catch River? Ugh. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, oh, what did I click on? Oh gosh, stop. Too much happening. Dang it! You were right there. Got him. Thanks! Ow. Hey, I found something over here. Over where? Where did you fly off to? Here? What is it? Oh, there it is. Memento. Can I get it? Or what's good? What? Can I talk to you? Here, this memento will do. Oh, blah, blah, blah. This memento will do. 
You'll have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. Boy, if you don't help me... What am I supposed to be looking for? River and Johnny, probably. Guys, guys. I see them riding together. Oh, oh my gosh. I've been on a horse before, but like only at a fair where they like take you in circles, you know? Is that a common thing? But never just like to run around with. Come here, you guys. Wait, stop taking those dives. All right, I got him. Um, that should do. Let me just line this up. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at this horse. Prepare. That's a fun little date idea though. Horse riding. I know they do like equestrian therapy, I think it's called too. Apparently it's cool, but I don't know. Animals that are bigger than me kind of freak me out. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive de develop- oh my gosh. Pervasive developmental disorders. This is a rather late diagnosis. Oh. Okay, so this is- she's actually getting diagnosed right now. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This is one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. Tony Atwood? Is that a real person? You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. She's getting right to reading. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other legal affiliation? Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Oh. Huh. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, in the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy. There it is, equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Hmm. So maybe he was kind of like in denial of it. Told you so. He seems like he wants no part in believing the diagnosis. And I like how the doctor even mentions like, if you were a kid and you were diagnosed, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Because I was kind of told the same thing when I was diagnosed. They're like, well, resources don't really get offered to adults, especially if they're diagnosed as an adult. You have a lot easier time getting accommodations and resources when you're a child and some places won't even allow you resources or help or any other service if you're diagnosed as an adult and my my doctor just told me that straight up and I was like uh well that sucks but I like how he offered her a book that's nice Tony Atwood maybe is that a real person I'll have to look into that 
the author of a series of books on rivers condition okay i have a book written by temple grandin she came to visit my college one day but i i missed her her lecture um she's also a famous autistic person she's like really famous in agriculture business and i guess she wrote about her experience with autism i've only read a few pages and so far it really it really connected with me and she was giving those books out for free which was just awesome so it wasn't it wasn't weird i just kind of like went to the library asked for one and they're like here you go and that was great i i appreciate that a lot what's happening here why why did i jump on the desk okay Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. That's sweet. I like how John really goes out of his way to make River comfortable. Thank you. I guess that explains the ones in the house. Oh, right. Because they all didn't work. Clock ticking. Let's see. Clock ticking? Something River can't stand. <laughs> I don't know. I like the sound of a clock ticking. There's something consistent about it. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Okay, apparently there's still some stuff. Platypus? Stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Okay, so just one more thing. The bag? A plain tawny bag. Alright, and we're good to go. Let's get on up there. Prepare. Okay. I got this. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Let's see. Let's find out. Actually, no. I totally got this. I totally got this. Ain't no thing. There you go. Um, can we go now? Oh, I, I forget. I have to keep clicking this thing. Um, let's get back up there then. Activate. 